everyone. Welcome to Learn with Tushar. Today I'm going to take a interesting topic that is very debatable. I won't say debatable, everyone agrees, but still do not follow most of the time. Uh, first thing is people like to drive car very fast. So here I am uh, trying to discuss mathematically why it, it should not be uh, viable. Why it is not viable that one should be driving really fast because mathematically speaking, as you can see on the screen, I've done some calculation. It is not uh, useful that much, which we feel that, okay, we are spend, we are saving so much of time. Now over here, this is, let me just highlight. So this is the speed column. I have just written down over here, 10 to 100 speed. Okay. And as it is decreasing from 10 to 20, 100% increase in the speed and so on. Okay. Now I have taken over here distance uh, 350, 350 kilometer and over here the time taken. Now look at it very interestingly. If I'm driving at a speed of 10 kilometer per hour, I'm getting, I'm going to reach in 35 hours. Okay. Now, if I double the speed, it is going to be 17.5 hours. Okay, you can convert that into minutes. That's uh, if you want to. But that's a 50% jump. That's a good jump. You are saving your 50% of the time. Now, as you keep increasing the speed, if you can observe over here, this time you are just saving 33% of your time. Okay, fair enough. Still fair enough. Now, if you keep increasing 25%, and so on. Now, generally speed limits are around 60, okay, that to on a higher end. And if, even if you are on highway, it's around 80. Now, from 80 to 90, if you are eager, okay, I want to increase my speed, actually there is not much change. It's only 11% change, okay, because it is inversely relation and this can be seen from this graph. As the uh, speed is increasing, the change over here is not that much. So think mathematically that whether it is really practical to, uh, is it really the worth the risk? Because I'm not able to see much change beyond, I would say even uh, 50, 60, okay. So this is a mathematical explanation why one should not drive really fast. I hope you uh, like this video. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. See you next time.